Enter the chiropractor. Yeah. Today, I want to awaken you all. I want to spread the news of what chiropractic care is. I have been researching this uh, this topic, and coupled with my personal experience with a chiropractor, uh, I feel that I have bound ground to inform you all of this. Um, it is actually very beneficial. We'll get into that. Um, this is something to listen to if you have a backbone. This is something you can apply to yourselves. If you have a spine right now, you can learn from this. So I hope, I hope you uh, consider some attention here. Um, first, we will start off by giving a brief context, um, giving just a small history of chiropractic care. We'll move on to the how, and then we'll finish up with steps that we can take personally. Uh, first, we'll begin with a basic story. Um, we're going to go back to ancient Greece. Um, the father of medicine known as uh, Hippocrates uh, was the first to link uh, spinal alignment to physical health. Um, and there's a direct relation we'll get into that later, but he was the first one to find that. Um, he was also the first to create a uh, chiropractic bed using clamps and uh, props. He would help realign and manipulate the, the patient and correct them and realign them. Um, this this practice can continue on into the Renaissance, and people who did such were known as bone setters. Um, it was such a pop they were regarded as healers of um, illnesses, discomfort, sicknesses, um, vast array of things, and the popularity of it picked up so dramatically it spread across Europe very quickly um, until it spread into the United States. Uh, the first chiropractor is uh, Daniel, Daniel David Palmer, um, and his story is uh, actually pretty interesting. Uh, he was a doctor, and uh, he had a janitor, surprisingly. Uh, his janitor was Jeff, however. Uh, upon acquiring the man, he, he learned that uh, he wasn't always deaf. Um, upon, he would maneuver his back wrong, pop out of place. From dawn, he was deaf. Uh, Dr. Palmer, being a curious doctor, looked into this, uh, gave, it, gave it a rough shot, being the first no, no chiropractor training before, gave it a shot. Uh, corrected his back and his shame returned. So after 17 years, he was instantly able to hear again. So that is actually pretty phenomenal. Um, all of this history that I've given you can be found in Nathaniel Altman's um, The Chiropractic Alternative. Uh, it's a great book if you're looking for a medical read. Um, but now that you have an understanding of the where, we're going to move on into the how. <coughs> it is key that you understand um, this, this term here, subluxation. It is a partial dislocation of a joint. I'm going to introduce my friend here, Spiny the Spine. See the man here. Um, typical spine here. Got it from my chiropractor. Um, subluxation can be seen, uh, if, suppose if you have scoliosis, um, there will be a slight bend on the back here, or, or uh, maybe just a hunch in, in the middle. Anywhere, any, anywhere within these, jo these joints can Subluxations can be found, essentially. Um, the problem is, is when it messes with the nerves. Um, now, being that the nerves are, are protected by the spine, uh, but it's very, that's, there's a direct relation there. The pro, um, a, study, a study found uh, done in Colorado University discovered that even the slightest pressure of, the pressure of catching a feather in your hand when applied to a spinal nerve uh, restricts that restricts that communication from the brain to that organ um, by at least 50%. So I'll let you fill in the blank here, but how effective do you, do you expect your liver or heart to work um, if, it's only work if you're only receiving about 50% of that information? Yeah. There's an autofocus button. Alright, we're live. 
Okay, so suppose you have a subluxation, uh, let's consider in the lower back here, uh, within the, um, in this sort of area. We have um, 6 through 12 vertebrae. Uh, not without, not getting too much into the anatomy here. Um, these nerves here, as you can follow the trace here, are connected to um, liver. We have pancreas, gallbladder, um, rather essential organs. If you have a subluxation within this point, um, you can expect to experience trouble here. <clears throat> now the job of the chiropractor is to use manipulation techniques to correct these subluxations to restore the, the, nerve, the nerve communication here. Any questions there? I know that's kind of a jump. Uh, you can find more information of this study found um, at cytochiropractic.com. Um, actually, pretty interesting there for you. So now that we have the how, we can move on to, we can apply it now. According to um, ACA Today, or American Chiropractic Association, um, although chiropractors are far more for just back pain, many patients visit chiropractors looking for relief for this per per pervasive condition. In fact, 31 million Americans experience low back pain at any given time. So what can these 31 million people do? Um, it is very simple, actually. Uh, maintaining a healthy diet and weight, um, remaining active, avoiding uh, long periods of rest, uh, warming up before exercise, proper posture seems to be key, um, and wearing comfortable shoes, actually. Um, as you'll see in this, back of this picture here, the, the spine is sort of in a, a gradual S, S shape. The effect of this is it acts as a, a shock absorber for pressure uh, throughout the day. By raising the heels, mm -hmm. you, um, you change the angle of the lower part of the S here. Um, that will, the pressure that is supposed to be absorbed through this shape is then transferred to the lower back muscles and on the vertebrae themselves, causing a big problem. That's where the back pain comes from. And finally, probably the most important thing that anyone can do is actually to go see a chiropractor. Um, Dr. Henry Cardenas, who is my personal chiropractor, actually, um, gives the example of the dental um, metaphor. He states that it's not very effective to go to a dentist after your teeth have fallen out. It's, we, I think we can all agree that um, prevention is the best cure. You can get fake teeth. It's, there's a solution for that. However, you do not get a second back. You, you have one, and that's, that's how it's going to be. So prevention is the best way to go about keeping your back healthy. Um, to add personal testament to this, um, as someone who is interested in fitness, um, if you pull it back, if you overload your back muscles, uh, anything like that, the first place you should go is chiropractor. Um, fantastic. Mm -hmm. It is quite like the comic I showed before. Um, simple kung fu, and you're, si you're, you're fixed. <laughs> so in conclusion, uh, we went over a brief history of, the, of chiropractic. We learned the how, and then we learned what we can do ourselves. Um, I hope you have taken this all into information and consideration for yourselves. And well, folks, that's the news, and I am out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, can I get the time? All right, thank you. All right, Cheyenne, what did you think? talking about chiropractors, and it was just kind of a little bit confusing there. And then you didn't quite go um, show your thesis statement till the end, so I was kind of confused about that too, because you were talking about spines, and then you talked about your chiropractor twice, like the, um, throughout the body statement, so it was kind of confusing. Your visuals are good, because um, you actually brought a visual of the spine, and then a little description on the boards and stuff and then but then like you know how you gave a little um website to go i think it would have been helpful if you would put that on the web on the board so we could have like wrote it down and then if we wanted to go back and look into it because it was kind of quick with like how you described the the website and it's about it like how you looked at your audience you connected like you didn't look down so much you know, that was it all right uh, I thought the goal was stated clearly, but I do think your thesis needs to be a little bit sharper. There was an excellent preview. I like the idea of the cartoon, but it needs a better introduction for it. You know, you need an introduction for your introduction.